Hello again, everybody. Sebastian here with another Watch Over Runes video. I am here in my Forerunners account, and I actually need to complete Quest 72 here, which essentially, that we need to artifact Forge 100 times. So I thought, what a better opportunity to now show you what the end game forging looks like. That's right. No, this time I did say 4,000 of my Titanic meteorites, Titan meteorites, I should say, to uh to make sure that i had enough to complete this quest so hey let's just see what we can get with four thousand of them as you as you can see here i have a seven out of ten chance to get a legendary 28 percent chance to get a mythic and really the ones that we're looking for are these exclusives and we have a two percent chance to possibly score one of them so with 100 pulls, you imagine maybe two. So hope we're hoping for two. Let's hope that that is the best way that we can get some. So, all right. So hopefully I'm not in the way. We'll figure that out. And we're going to forge the first, the first 10 here and see what we can get. So as you can see, this is kind of what most of the time is going to look like. It is going to look a lot of yellow. Don't be surprised. But at least it gives us some return on Mithril, and the Mithril economy actually improves a little bit. So uh, these ones here are all going to be fighter and defenders. So you're not going to see any platform units, all right? And it looks like we did get an exclusive here, and it's the Wailing Tusk. And this is uh, Absence uh, exclusive. And ironically, I don't have them in this account, so I'm not... I'm, I'm i'm a tad disappointed but we got a, 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 an exclusive out of this batch at least or we know that we do right let's go with the next set and we got two regal crests all right nothing else that i gotta say i'm gonna level for my account and on this one oh we got a willing skull okay that's good because i am still actually upgrading my second one so I do need that one. Talisman of Resolve. I think I finally got mine to 25. And then I have some other ones here that I can play with, run with. Goddess Grace. It, it's getting a little bit more played that now uh, because it increases the defense of your units a little bit. And we have defense scaling um, heroes that can also wear that one. Let's go with another. Then looking for uh, Bastion Rings too, if we can. Okay, here is another one. Here's another exclusive. And this is Boros Winter Call. So we know that this guy can do some, some damage. Um, we put him in a good glacier set. Hey, he just let him pick up his own speed. He'll he'll turn he'll turn away uh, uh, uh enemies that have come up at him. This is a good batch, actually, because we got an Scarlet a Scarlet Hunt, we got a key of the Forsaken and a frigid flame awesome i still actually need to work on the second fridge of flame so that's pretty good all right so we got two so that's within the rates that is within the rates so we got another talisman resolve here everything else is legendary and it's just going to become mithril all right let's keep going and uh we got a flux pendant i already have one leveled up in this account actually so that's actually going to be sold Okay, so we're starting to cool off a little bit. We actually want to see some good ones pop up. There's, okay, finally, Bastion Ring. All right, so we got one. At least we got one in this batch here. And I think we're down to three of these. Some more Fridge of Flames, perfect. Oh, and we got the Soul Crucible for Azor. And, eh, all right, we, we can use, especially with the stand mechanic, um, we can use them for Samra. That's fine. All right, so we added we added another one. So we got three. We're above rates. All right, we got two more temples. Hopefully we can get. Hopefully we can get one more. We did. We did. We got wrath. All right, this is going to be good for him. So this one will increase the damage dealt to elite and bosses by fifteen percent, reducing the effect duration of the ultimate by ten seconds, and increases damage dealt during the ultimate by an extra thirty percent. Yeah. We I've always postulated this actually will be a lot better for him. 
and uh, if the AOE attack of heavy blow hits only one target, this attack ignores 30%, 20% of the defense. So it's one target, yeah, Drake's Chasm, Samra. I actually still use Wrath in this account for Samra Apocalypse 1. So this is a good one to test and see what we get. And I got another Bastion Ring. Good. We can start, we can finish off the uh, second one, I think, or start the third one. I'm not sure. I'll check later. So we did get... That's not bad, actually. Four of them. We got four of them. Oh, sweet. You guys, if you have Vulcas exclusive, it does not matter what level it is. Just put it on her. And then as you keep upgrading it, she just, this uh, ferment, this color ferment just becomes so much better. This just makes her so much better. I'm glad I finally have her on my account. So, this, this, I'm going to level this to 10. I'm going to put it on her. Forget about it. She'll always have it. She'll always have it. Perfect. So, so I think that for the fortune that I did here in this account today, this was not bad in terms of the rates that I got for exclusives. And we got plenty of them. We got five. So that is better than the two percent i was actually only expecting two but just to get five in that round that is that was a hit so these four thousand that i had saved they came back and they gave me some good ones so now that that allows me to move on and now we can go on and complete the rest of the odyssey quest thank you all very much for tuning in and watching i hope you enjoyed that little bit of fortune that i did with the new type titan meteorites that we will have here that we can get from amr 19 and 21 and have faith people that will land in the global server soon until the next video take care